I can't count the number of times bugs have ruined my picnics in the last year. When I say bugs, I mean wasps. It was wasps that ate the jam on our charcuterie board and wasps that swam, or should I say drowned, in our cider on Salt Spring Island. It was wasps that started eating our three-piece chicken combo at the park next to Church's Chicken. It was a wasp that followed our pizza into the car on Pender Island. Well, there was a wasp that jumped into the trunk of the car with us. And it was a wasp that invited itself to share that same pizza later on the picnic bench. But today's story isn't about wasps. Just two days ago, they closed indoor dining again. In the competition of survival of the fittest, the new variants were out competing the old ones. Other than our homes, the only other safe place to be was the outdoors, where people were sparse, but trees were plenty. So on this particular evening, we chose Burnaby Mountain for a little outdoor escape. At the very top, 365 meters above sea level, sits an entire university, SFU. Surrounding and leading up to the university are multiple trails that are shared by pedestrians and cyclists. This is a mountain that I have hiked a few times in the past, but what I had never done was watch the sunset from the top. As we made our way up, every once in a while we would step aside as a cyclist sped down the trail, or we would say hello to a fellow hiker passing by. It was refreshing to have mostly trees and birds as our companions. Soon, we realized we were accompanied by another. Are these mosquitoes? I asked Alex as I swatted at the flitting insects. How are they already out? It wasn't long before we were distracted again by the grumbling of our stomachs and our determination to get to our picnic spot. And what a view it was when we arrived. The descending sun shone a soft light over the city and the Burrard Inlet that snaked through it, draining into the Strait of Georgia. It became clear the mosquitoes weren't going to let us enjoy our poke bowls. We looked at the other people sitting on the hill and confirmed that we weren't the only ones being attacked. In the end, we decided to leave and see the sunset another time. As disappointing as that was, I was still grateful that we could get out of the house. Every little bit counts these days. And there will be other chances to watch the sunset from the top of Burnaby Mountain. Although preferably, we'd have some bug spray on hand next time.